Hi everyone and welcome back to Think Science. If it's your first time here, make sure to hit that subscribe button as well as the bell icon so you can be notified of more content. Today, we will be explaining reactions and enzymes. Let's start with a question of the day. What is an example of an anabolic reaction? Leave your answer in the comments. Our cells perform multiple cellular processes through chemical reactions. Some of these reactions are spontaneous and release energy when they are performed. Other chemical reactions require energy. All of these chemical reactions within the cell are called the cell's metabolism. The metabolic pathway is a series of reactions that convert molecules into a final product. There are two types of metabolic pathways, anabolic and catabolic. Anabolic requires energy and synthesizes new molecules by combining less complex molecules into new products. Catabolic reactions release energy by breaking down complex molecules into simple ones. Because energy is stored in the bonds between molecules, the breaking of these bonds leads to the energy being released. These reactions, they're facilitated or catalyzed by proteins called enzymes. The proteins bond with molecules called substrates and can modify the substrates by building them up or breaking them down. The ending molecules are called products. The place on the enzyme where the enzyme and the substrate bind is called the active site. When an enzyme bonds to a substrate, the enzyme changes its structure slightly in order to more closely bind with the substrate. This is called an induced fit. Enzymes speed up chemical reactions by lowering the activation energy, so they make the reactions faster and therefore more efficient. In order to make this happen, the enzyme holds the substrates in optimal positions for the reaction to occur. It also provides the optimal environment for the reaction. Because enzymes need to provide the perfect environment for the substrate reactions to happen, the enzyme is subject to changes in environmental conditions around it. For example, if the temperature increases, the chemical bonds in the activation site may change so that the activation site can no longer bind to the enzyme. This is called denaturation. Thank you for watching our video. Stay tuned for our next video on thermodynamics and metabolism. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more content. Let us know if this video made sense to you and leave your question in the comments so we can answer them. As always, thank you for watching Think Science.